guys what is up um today i wanted to do a fancy vlog um i got this dress from a love Jack fancy which makes me think of gabby de martino you know the cute sweet gabby on youtube um and she uh, like totally inspires me in so many ways even before i got to know her uh, as a person as a friend are my jets in my jacuzzi going i think they are or there's something happening I'm not just saying this one jacuzzi is literally like bubbling from the center. Hopefully it's just one. Anyways, um, so yeah, Gabby's super sweet. She came to my show in Pennsylvania, performed with me. Um, she invited me so graciously on her show, Scream Queen. She did a Christmas special last year, which was really cool. Um, and I just like I've always loved her. I loved Nikki and Gabby together, and I actually really fell in love with Nikki. Um, even like I guess because I always like related to Gabby's style and stuff on camera, but Nikki's personality in her life is like um, like just as bubbly, just as freaking sweet and kind and girly. Like, I don't know, just like, you know, you just expect them to be complete opposites, but they're actually like pretty similar. Anyways, I love them both. And since I had this on, I love my hair. I put this dress on, not really thinking like my hair is even kind of like, it's kind of dark right now. Anyways, it's totally cool. I totally love being Gabby Tay Martino's cool mom. Um, and so this is kind of like inspired by one of her fancy vlogs. Even so, I just, like I wore these on a po the podcast, the H3, it was not even H3, it's my podcast with Ethan from H3 on the H3 channel, but I had the Chanel earrings, I was like, oh my god, I'm really trying to get a Gabby Martino. She's also very sweet, like anytime I ask her where she gets something, she lets me know. The only thing that's inspired it, obviously, is this, and then the earrings, and I guess the hair, but I haven't seen her actually purchase any of this stuff, so it's not like I'm, everything she bought at Louis Vuitton, I bought, but almost, that would be like, that'd be an iconic video, we had talked about collabing on a shopping video because people spend way too much money on things <laughs> but things make us happy so um i guess we'll just get into it so some of this like because this is all the new louis stuff from the store in the orange boxes down here are stuff that is a few seasons ago so we'll start with this one this was like i don't know how many seasons ago i totally missed this collection when it came out this is this pink mesh bag Louis Vuitton now I got mine off stock X these are very expensive they're verified authentic if you don't know stock X not sponsored but you can find a lot of hard to find last season previous season I got my Chanel graffiti backpack which is super adorable should I show you guys and that's like a video I'll just show you it's like a video onto itself but like hold I'll show you guys I even Duncan it's so Gabby but um yeah this is the Chanel graffiti backpack I got I also no yeah, I did get this on StockX, actually. These are really hard to find, and these are also really expensive, but it's very hard to find. And honestly, this is my favorite bag, because it kind of looks like it's already kind of, like, dirty. So, I, like, I get everything dirty and gross, so. I got that off StockX. And then I got this mesh bandolier, which, it took me a while to pull the plunge on both of these, but I rewarded myself this year. I did pretty good, so I was like, you know what? Good job, Trish. Good job for showing those boobies, only Trish.com, and um, treat yourself. So, I got the mesh bandolier, which is... I had a Louis Vuitton duffel that seemed so much bigger than both of these, but maybe I'm just like on crack or something. I don't know. But this one's really cute. Um, it's very hot pink. It's a lot prettier in person. This is from the Cloud Collection, and obviously my boyfriend really likes clouds. So I just uh, go ahead and assume the personality of the person that I'm dating. And um, this guy happens to be water. This guy, Moses, happens to be water and clouds. He's very... From the beginning, very just non-apologetic about taking pictures of, of clouds. So, anyway, so I saw they have Louis Vuitton on stock X, and it was, it was actually recommended, this collection, so maybe they're just trying to get rid of it, I don't know. But I thought it was really cute and pretty, and I really like the blue. Um, and so I got the key ball. This is, this is the key ball. <laughs> Louis Vuitton people coming for me. And then I ended up getting a carry-on um, suitcase, but this is more for, like, my um, in-state shoes. Like, I maybe I'll take it on a plane because it's carry-on, but I usually keep, like, my nicer luggage for, like, stuff in California. And I'm always packing, like, so much, you know, for TikTok shoots. <laughs> and only man shoes. So I thought I'd get those bags to kind of treat myself and then also keep it going. Um, okay, so let's get into some Louis Vuitton. I've had this stuff for quite a while. Shout out to Christopher at Louis Vuitton. I don't know what branches and maybe South Coast Plaza. He's like my contact. I was shopping through the quarantine basically um, and he always is sending me new stuff which is very scary and dangerous but greatly appreciated. So I don't even remember half this stuff. Like I said, this was accumulated over a couple months. So let's just get into it. Oh, so I had gotten a pair of white Louis Vuitton. These are so cute. White Louis Vuitton slippers um, from Jeffrey. So graciously on Valentine's Day bought me some white Louis Vuitton slippers that had no backing on it. I absolutely love them. Like I love them. I wear them all the time. They're so cozy. They're so cute. They look like little bunnies. I hope these are not made of bunnies. Now that I'm thinking about that for real. That's like really sad. But um, then I ended up getting these. This is the one with like it's more of a shoe. It has more of the backing and it's a bit of a pink tint to it. So 
Um, I really wanted to get these. Like I said, I really do wear my um, my white ones that he got me. Um, and yeah, and he seems like he's in. Well, I don't think he's in love. Actually, he did make a statement saying that was not in love. But him and his new little boo thing, boy toy play thing, which I think is totally healthy after getting out of. I've never been in a six year relationship. My longest has been a year. So after a six year relationship, I guess I would just want to have, you know, have fun too. So, okay, that's my first thing, which is for starting off to a bang. Sometimes I get nervous. I buy things that I don't want <laughs> or I won't use. Okay, so the next. Louis Vuitton is one of my favorite designer brands, by the way. I think it's classic. I think it's pretty. I think it's really nice quality stuff. And it's not super expensive like Chanel or Birkin. It's a little more um, affordable luxury. It's like, you know, we're above Michael Kors and Coach. Not that there's anything wrong with Michael Kors and Coach. In fact, Gabby, speaking of, Gabby DiMartino, uh, when I went there, she had the amazing Coach purse I was obsessed with. And once again, being the kind of sweet soul that she has, gave me the model of it and stuff because it was no longer in season. And I was able to find it and track it down. So, please, Gabby. Oh. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> So this is, <laughs> I just love like gifts. So I buy myself gifts all the time. They're just, oh, this is really cute. Oh, I actually got a gold Louis Vuitton bracelet. It's upstairs. It's like a little bangle. Um, but I ended up getting this necklace. It's really cute. It's their new like LV signature and it has a little uh, diamond in there, which is actually way adorable. I've been wanting like a dainty, I love, I love jewelry. And I've been wanting a dainty gold something. And this was just really pretty. I, I want to say, actually, I saw, who did I see have this? Holly Anna, I always forget her name. I've mentioned her for so long here on YouTube. She still makes videos, but now she's doing OnlyFans, which I like to think that I inspired her. Actually, I think she said, I'm literally starting it because of you. She's so stunning. Like, she's literally like my dream girl, Holly Anna Ray. Um, if you remind me, I'll try and like link her Instagram, at least in the description. She promotes her OnlyFans and stuff on her Instagram. Um, but she always, she's another girl's girl that totally, sorry, I'm just trying to get this out. She's another girl's girl that'll totally say where she gets stuff. You know those girls? I hate these girls. The girls that are like, mm, I can't tell you where I got things. Like, I hate those girls so much. I mean, my boyfriend hates when I use the word hate because we're not supposed to hate people. But let's be real, we do hate a few people. As in, we and all my personality. It's like, no joke. Um, so, that's why I kind of like making these videos. I like showing people, like, what I got, where I got it. And I will always be that bitch to tell you. Is that cute? to tell you where I got things. This is really cute. Um, so, you know, share, support, influence, be the influencer. We're all meant to be. Okay. This is a lot of little jewelry, so I'm going to save this stuff maybe for at the end. Um, checking to see the time. Mm, and my phone calls. Ooh, got it. Okay. <laughs> Nothing. It, just, it was dramatic. Okay, this is another Louis Vuitton. This is very exciting. Um... Oh, this is a scarf. Oh my god, I'm super excited. I've been wanting a headscarf. And this is another Holly Anna Ray. So Holly Anna Ray and Gabby really inspired this. Um, I'm probably saying her name wrong. Holly Anna Ray. If you guys remember, she used to do a lot of YouTubes. Um, but I don't know if she does it like as much anymore. But I wanted like a cute little like head wrap. Obviously, I put it like underneath my hair and put it in. But yeah, I thought that would be really cute. I got a convertible now, so yeah. And she had this whole cute outfit with the blue swimsuit, but just my luck, they were. I think there's a bobby pin sticking in my ear. We're all good. Okay. There's that. Moving on. I did get some purses if anyone's looking. Oh, this is another stock X purchase, and I know because it has the little X right here. But it did come in the original bag and packaging. Um, I got a cute little makeup pouch. Oh, this is another collection that I kind of missed out on this like little pastel-y thing because you know I was really going through a time where I'm saving money I, I'm like going back to that now because I've literally been spending way too much money but I was like you know what let me splurge a little a little and um yeah I just needed like a cute makeup pouch anyways because obviously I don't know if you guys can tell I started doing my makeup again and so I like to put like little touch-ups and stuff and I just needed a new bag although I really do like my clear one um I don't know if you guys want to see it let me know so I got that from Stock X too. So that's not one that's currently in the Louis Vuitton lineup. Okay. Next we have. Oh, this looks like an acrylic thing that I got my mom for her birthday. Yes. Okay, we saw this in Vegas. Um, my sister actually, 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 I one for my sister because she actually saw this and I thought this was really, really cute and it's always on my mind. You know one of those things where you like really want to like, oh, like you'll keep thinking about something. I should have gotten that. This is one of those things. I think this is so pretty. I got a square one for my mom for her birthday and it's just like a cute little thing to, I don't know. Can I open it? 
Oh yeah. To like stash things in or even just like a decoration. It's super, super cute. I'm obsessed. They have a pink and red and purple one. Um, we saw this in Vegas. Quick story time. That's not the nicest about the sales lady. But um, she basically like, my sister, like it was an open counter space. It did not have a register or anything like that. But it was open. You could go back and forth from it. It was like in the front of the store where everything was on display. And my sister was just going back. Tried to grab this to buy. And the, the sales lady's like, you guys are not. She's like, yeah. It's like, you are not allowed to be behind the counter. I'm going to ask you to leave if you don't get behind the counter. Like just so rude. And so we're like, okay, no worries. Like we were kind of embarrassed. Like we're just not confrontational. People were kind of embarrassed. Just kept like walking around a little bit, like maybe two more feet in the store and then totally left. So this was the store in the Vegas at the Crystals. Oh, the really bad taste in my mouth. We were going to get this. Actually, I was going to get it for her and I was going to get one for me and just super rude. Like I get it. Like don't, you don't want the customers back there, but also one, it should be blocked off too. There should be like a register and three, you could just say politely like, Hey, like, Oh, we asked you not to go back there. This was also before COVID. So I don't know. But this is really cute. Marked. All right. Oh, it's like one night. I was two. Sometimes when I'm lonely, I sit and think about him. And it hurts to remember. Okay, this might be a bag, y'all. If we are purse enthusiasts out there, this might be a bag, y'all. Um. Oh, yes! Okay, cute. So, okay, this one, I, I like always have my inspirations. Like, I'm definitely someone, like, if I'm not shopping visibly and seeing things, like, it's hard for me to shop online. So, I really have to see someone cute rocking it, and I feel like that's kind of how style and fashion just kind of goes anyway. So, Blair White actually had a similar pink and brown Damier pattern bag when she came over the last time I saw her, and um, I was, like, totally obsessed with it. And so, I was like, I need a little cute backpack moment, and I'm just, they're just easy to attach, but I'm not going to do all that right now. Cute little backpack moment. It's super cute. This baby pink that Louis Vuitton does is amazing. I literally want to get more bags like that. I like the brown with the pink. Never that I would say that. It doesn't seem like a combo that I would be into, but here I am into it. I'm into it. All right, we're getting down to the big ones, the last two of the big, and then we'll go, you know what, let's save those, and we'll go into the jewelry first. Um, I keep checking my phone because we have a date night, and then I got to figure out the new a new outfit for my date tonight. I'm very excited. It's actually a six month anniversary of meeting, not like really dating, but like a meeting, which is, I mean, basically went on a date and hooked up and kept going on dates and hooking up, but like officially dating. It's not six months, but dating <laughs> for six months. And I'm very excited. Six months ago today, we met, which we just found out today on my podcast over on the H3 channel called Friend of Me's. I host it with Ethan from H3H3. H3, so check that out. Okay. <gasps> Cute. Oh my God. Look how cute that is. It's a cute Louis Vuitton gold bracelet. I always get a little triggered trying these on. I have a very fat wrist. And it's actually kind of hard for me to put these on. I'm not just saying that. I think it will fit perfect. But I need Moses because also my nails. And I know a lot of you guys will be like, no, it's not. I need layer. But you can see. It'll actually fit quite nicely with the... Cartier bracelet that Shane gave me for Christmas last year. So I think that's going to fit. And yes, it does fit. Okay, look at all the extra. There you go. But I definitely need someone to help me. I think that's really pretty. I love a little, a little dainty jewelry moment. Put that there so it doesn't get lost. I'm just having a really good day, guys. I'm having a really good day. I'm really excited for our date tonight. We're going to the Palm, which is my favorite chicken parm in the whole world. I haven't had chicken parm in so long. And I'm so glad they're open. Okay, so this is silver. Because, you know, we all have our silver moments. We all have our gold moments. And I went ahead and got this silver one. Because, again, I like to, like, layer bracelets. So I think that would be really pretty. Like a diamond LV. I love it. I kind of want to wear the gold one tonight. That's going to be real adorbs. And then finally... Finally, I can see it has happened to me. It's so much fun in unboxings with people. <laughs> like, this is why I wish I had more friends. So I could be like, let's unbox things together. But actually, <gasps> let's unbox things together. Okay. Ooh, earrings. Oh, this is what I needed today. I needed gold troop earrings. Gorge. Absolutely stunning. Okay, LV coming through. Again, I want to say I thought, I think I saw Holly Anna Ray rock these. And how freaking cute. 
they're a really good size hoop too it's hard to find like hoops that aren't like cheap but like big you know what i mean like that don't look like trashy classy super cute with like the necklace and the thing mm, gold gotta drop believe the time gold all right let me take a sip of my duncan oh while well, i'm showing you guys things i feel like alexis from shit's great oh and one more thing and one more thing my sister got me this at starbucks isn't this super cute it's like a little rainbow I think we'll um, all right let's get to the main attraction and no i'm not talking about me silly i'm literally alexis right now i watch too much shit's creep lately i'm like obsessed with that show and it's either talking maura david or alexis alexis grows on you after a few seasons her initial character <gasps> yes, i forgot about these too um little bears to match the bunnies they're little these are really really cute too these are just really really comfortable like i hate to be that bitch it's like this is actually like you're paying for quality but this is quality like these the slippers are a home run these look a little fluffier actually than the pink ones i showed oh but they're in the classic brown lv i wish they made like sweatpants like this if they do somebody let a bitch know you know what i'm saying okay so I know this last one is because I've been waiting to open this one because I really wanted this one the most. This is a bag. I saw it, I think, in an email. I think the Louis Vuitton email made me buy it. So I'm very excited. This is a very business lady tote. And I love to be a businesswoman, you know? Like I just really, really love it. This is stunning. I just love the shape, the size, like the length. It's kind of like a shopper's bag. Let me just back up a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Like it's kind of just, it's kind of like 70s, like retro vibe. It's that classic LV with the patine leather. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. Let me just see the inside. Oh, it's zippered. It's a zippered bag, which is cool because like the never folds don't zip. But classic red oh, with the little, oh, I'm just like rock myself in the face with the little pouch. Honestly, I'm like gagging for this. This is so pretty in person. Like I think this is perfect for like just your iPad or I don't know. I feel like I'd normally take my iPad with me to places and headphones and makeup and like I feel like a lot of it here. Or you could just wear this with your purse. But it's just such a cool bag. Like it's bigger than a purse. It's not as big as a tote. I don't know. I'm just really kind of into it. Super cute. I love this bag so much. So anyways, that's everything I got from Louis Vuitton. I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul um definitely check out fancy vlogs by gab i'm obsessed with her um check out my tiktok trish like fish 88 check out holly anna ray um who else did i mention um i don't know anyone else i mentioned check them out too but anyway send you guys lots of love light positivity um i hope things are kind of picking up a little better in this 2020 this world is very crazy right now but for some reason it's feeling like it's getting a little lighter maybe it's a change of seasons fall halloween's coming i don't know but i'm just trying to kind of like keep going and i hope you guys are too the best you can i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye guys